Hi, my name is Peter Kellner, and I want to teach you a little bit about how to synchronize two audio streams that are not quite in as much sync as they should be. So I recently organized Silicon Valley Code Camp, and we published 32 sessions from three different cameras. Two of the cameras had clocks in them that were identical. Sadly, one of the cameras, the clock on the camera was about a tenth of a second off for every 10 minutes of the clock on the actual computer and the speaker's microphone. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at the timeline of the speaker microphone. I've highlighted that now. And if I play that, I'll mute the camera one, but if I just play the speaker, you have a very clean sound because that's coming off of the microphone of the speaker. If I look at the other track, if I look at the other track, which is the actual camera, and let me zoom ahead a little bit to the speaker, and I mute the one the speaker is, the, the mic the speaker is wearing, and it's now just going to pick up the audio from the speaker that reaches the camera in the back of the room. You can hear a ton of background noise. Obviously, that's not the one we want. We're going to want the picture which is included in the camera with the audio that's from the mic. So let's dive in a little bit and you know the obvious thing to do here and if just just to mention the the desktop or the computer in the front with the mic basically has an hour of video on it that's this this big long timeline here and the camera spits out spits out audio and video every every four gigabytes so you can see we're looking at zero 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 but I've also got a bunch of more segments which I'll drag onto the timeline as we encode it. So the first thing we do is we want to say, oh, I bet we can just synchronize this automatically. So I right click on on the video and the audio of everything and I right click and I say synchronize. I say OK. And if my audio and video timelines were correct, actually running off of an identical clock, which two of the three cameras were, it's going to match this perfectly and I'm essentially done. Let me just add a little fake time going by so you don't have to watch this. This takes about a minute to do this hour of video synchronization clip. And you can see we get the error that says it could not synchronize one or more clips. Well, that's because it can't match the waveforms. So the first thing we need to do is we need to just get it roughly in sync. And I've done that already for you. You can actually see I've, I've put a couple markers so we don't have to painfully go through each clip. But what I did is essentially when I looked at the audio, I, I scrolled forward till I basically got to the point where it looks like the, the speaker's going to start. And I also did the same thing with the slides. The slides actually in the microphone, you can kind of see start right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll out my timeline. I'm going to essentially move these so that they line up. And that's a pretty rough estimate of lining up. So I'm going to put my timeline right here. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to try to get it to line up as best I can. And then I'll make it exact. So if we listen to the beginning of the, right there, I believe, if we listen to that, which is, again, this is the microphone the speaker's wearing. And I play that. Maybe, maybe it's right here. We'll play it from there. So you hear the speaker say, OK. So let's look for So that's right there. Or that, I'm sorry. Do that again. Okay, we're listening to this timeline right here. The speaker's going to say OK. So that's this hump right here. So likely that's this hump. But just to be sure, let's unmute this channel. Let's mute that one. Okay. And there it is. There's the OK from the speaker's mic. So we want to line up this hump and that hump. So let me drill down a little further. And now I can just slide this bottom one over probably moving one frame at a time. So this looks to me like that's probably an exact match of the camera 
And if I play them both unmuted, it kind of sounds like they're together. So let's, let's right now, let's just say the video is going to start right here and I'll get rid of everything to the left. So I'm going to cut both tracks just so I have a clean starting point. I zoom out. I'm just going to lasso all that. And then I'm going to take all my tracks and I'm just going to slam them right to the beginning of the timeline. No particular reason. I just like to do that. So what we've got now is at the very beginning, if I zoom in on that, you can see our timeline matches. If I just scroll a little bit, you can see it's very it's very much matching right here. We've got the peaks. We this I mean it's very clearly, you know, for the first 32 seconds. I mean this is just right on. And even if I play it, Jump right in. Yeah. You can see that it, it's it's a matched right on. But if I go to the end of this four gigabyte chunk, which is at five minutes, this is this is where the pain happens. Watch what happens when I listen. Well, to answer these questions, there are two technologies that pop out. Of so you can. You, <laughs> you can tell that the voice in the speaking or at the voice in the from the camera and the voice from the mic are at a sync and you can see it I mean you can obviously see looking at this waveform that this matches with that this matches with that so what we need to do is we need to hover over and pick the rate stretch tool and then we actually want to stretch the camera we're not going to change the timeline of his actual speaking but we're going to change the camera so we're going to pretend that the camera basic or we're going to pretend that the computer and the speak on the mic is the truth and we're just going to stretch this just a hair and so you can see here i'm just moving it all i moved it too much let me move it back a little bit let me get it just perfect so now you can see I've got the waveform exactly right at the end of the video. So if I play this with both unmuted. So when you think about um, what we're going to do today, we're going to be an admin. You can see we're I've got work. it exactly right. And if I go back to the beginning of the video, because I rate stretched it, and I zoom in on that, you can see it's still right. So now I've got the audio and the video completely matched. So the next thing to do is I want to bring in the next chunk of video from the camera. Just drag that right out here. And just put it on the right track so I have it where it belongs. And interestingly, I mean, this is just kind of physics, is that if I drag it and I put it right at the end of the last time clip, it should start out synced perfectly. And the reason is because I essentially shrunk the the previous camera to be right so the next camera is going to start at exactly the right time and you can see the waveform is perfect this lines up this lines up if I play them together and we're going to talk to the master node it sounds perfect and again if I go to the end let me go to the end of the second video you know you can probably guess it's not going to be lined up anymore and of course you can see that. So I go and I pick the rate stretch tool. And you can see I'm going to want to drag this out again. It's just a little bit slow. I can just drag it. And there it is. Now we're perfect again. So I won't do it for the next three. But you can see I've got three more videos that I want to bring out. You know, I'm going to want to bring this one. And then I'm going to want to do the little rate adjust here. Then I'm going to want to bring the next two. And you can see basically I've completely synchronized the camera and the and the desktop mic. Kind of a pain to figure out that workflow, but half doing this so I remember next time this comes up how to do it. And the other half, of course, so that I can help you guys if you happen to run into the same problem. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.